Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. Today I'm starting a brand new career mode and we are going to be playing as the All Blacks. We are taking charge. We are the new manager. So we have got round one of the World Rugby Championship here. Our first game is against South Africa, which is a very tough game to start with. Competition info, we'll have a quick look at. So we are in pool two. We have got South Africa, Namibia, Italy and Canada in our pool. Right, we are going to go with the squad that they've given us first of all. And we will see how they go against the strong team, South Africa, the Springboks. Let's get right into it. These two teams are set to face each other in what should be an exciting World Championship pool match. These two teams are pretty evenly matched and it could easily go either way. My comments, man, for this match is Justin Marshall. And Justin, a good contest coming up here. Absolutely looking forward to it. Two very strong sides here, the All Blacks and the Springboks for this very first pool match. You'd say these are the two teams in this pool who will be going through to the next round. It's just a matter of who will be in first place and who is in second. I'm excited, we are in Japan of course. Because this World Championship, as they call it, is based off the World Cup. So can we bring the World Cup home for New Zealand? We'll have to wait and see. But first we've got to get through the South African side. has been done. New Zealand to kick off. Richie Moanga to get us underway here. I'm excited for this match. Oh, Malcolm Marks offloads. That's a very flat pass. I said it at the same time as the commentators. The tackle there. Moanga rips it away. Gives it to George Bridge who puts on a step. Chucks it wider to Goodhue who has been ankle tapped. It is ripped away. Moody takes it back though. Lalala goes to Mwanga. Who goes one more to Leonard Brown who scores between the posts. Great start to the match for the All Blacks. Good Hugh had the ball ripped away from him. But straight back into it. Joe Moody takes it back. Goes to Lalala, who goes to Mwanga, who goes to Lennart Brown, who is quick enough to score between the posts. Start this game off very well. Only four minutes in. They've got their five, they could get their seven. Should be a gift. Mwanga straight out in front. Shouldn't have any issues with this kick. Straight down the middle and the All Blacks after six minute minute and the All Blacks after six minutes lead 7-0 over South Africa. Andre Pollard to kick off. Pollard restarts. Lala takes that well. New Zealand. New Zealand have still got that. I'm gonna kick it in behind. Smith. Aaron Smith puts it on the boot. Loose ball, snapped up. He has kicked it back. South African, South African winger. Ritalik takes it well. He's got a bit of space. He shunts off one, shunts off another. Smith goes to Kane. Who goes to Mwanga or tries to, but it has been intercepted. Glirk passes. Tries to find Etzebeth. That's an interesting offload. Oh, they have ripped it away there. 
offloads are coming thick and fast at the moment from both teams. So Moody with a big hit there. Aaron Smith rips it away. Barrett goes out to Savia, who goes to Goodhue, who has got a man outside him. He finds him, but it was a bit of a rough pass. That is South Africa's ball. Malcolm Marks has a go. Cody Taylor with the tackle on Faf de Klerk there. Moanga makes the tackle. Keeps the ball moving. And this time he's taken. Nice phase play opening up the opportunity. Clerk has a go. Smith handles it though. Oh, and he's just been teleported across the field. Whitelock steals that one. But it has been taken straight back from South Africa. Good defence here from the All Blacks, not letting them too far. Oh, a little chip in behind. It has worked well for them. Oh, that was interesting. Number 14 did manage to claim that ball. But then is tackled into touch. Line out in a precious situation here for Cody Taylor. It is pretty straight. Might be too straight, though. Brody Retallick claims that. Goes to Moanga, who goes a little skip pass to Goodhue. Goes to Sevi Reese with the offload, but it was not the best option there. Good tackle there from Bowden Barrett. Has injured Mapimpi. Mornay Stain will be coming onto the field here to replace Mapimpi. Not the best time to offload there from Sevu Reese, unfortunately. We're under a lot of pressure here. Set. Good push Feel they'll either go number eight off the back or they're going set play here. They did neither. Fafta Glerk hung on to it. Oh, they're getting close to South Africa. The spring box. Malcolm Marks round the side of the ruck. Has been tackled low from Smith. Faf de Klerk has a go, but is absolutely nailed by Joe Moody. One metre out from the line. It's a Beth goes. It's offloaded. And number six, it was Khaleesi, has scored the opening try of the match for South Africa. It was very strong attack from South Africa. Good hit there from Joe Moody on Faf de Klerk. They just kept sticking with it. A few offloads, and Khaleesi gets over the line. Diaga goes to Van Mullen, who then goes to Khaleesi to score for South Africa. Should be an easy enough kick, and we will be looking at a seven-ball contest. Andre Pollard to take this one. Straight down the middle. So, two extra points, and it's a close game here. So that whole attack happened because of my offload as Sevu Reese that found no one. So we've got to be very careful. This is a strong South African side, so if you give them a little bit of space, they will take you. Andre Pollard takes that one well. Good tackle there from Brody Retallick on Exabeth. Clerk goes to Marks. Oh, good angle tap from Cody Taylor there. Aaron Smith tackles Faf to Clerk. It's a bit around the side of the ruck. Is tackled hard. Malcolm Marks has a go. Has offloaded it. Sam Kane ties up for Mullen. Smith. Oh, good hit on Marks by Moanga there. Oh, Aaron Smith with the tackle. Has ripped it away. Joe Moody goes out to Whitelock. He won't have the pace, but Sevi Reese on the wing has dropped the ball. Kicked it into touch and said we'll go to half time. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball. Unfortunate there. Smith goes to Moody, who goes to Whitelock, who goes one more. 
after luring in the defence and unfortunately Seve Rees unable to hold on to that ball. We go into the break 7 all. South Africa have had more position, we have had the territory, almost making three times the tackles and we have made five handling errors to their none. So we need to work on that in the second half if we want to beat the South African side. A number of missed tackles so far. They'll need to sort that out in the second half. Andre Pollard to get us underway for the second half. So the kickoff is made. Oh, who's got that one? Lulale has done very well. Smith goes to Moanga, who goes to Lennart Brown, who goes to Goodhue, or tries to, but it has been intercepted. George Bridge with the tackle there. Once again, the South African side very good at intercepting the ball. Lala makes the tackle on Etzebeth. Good hit from Whitelock on Diaga. Ooh, another pressure one from Cody Taylor. It's always just in his 22. Straight down the middle though there. Brody Retallick has got that one. We're going to try and drive out a little bit from our 22. Yes, indeed. They are like a bunch of Sherman tanks going up the field there. This is stopped, so they'll have to do something Lala with it. goes to Barrett, who is in the back line. He was first receiver. Good Hugh goes out to Sevu Reese. Reese does a little step as clotheslined by Willie LaRue. And a penalty. Definite penalty in his It's not a yellow card, though. Mm, I'm going to kick for touch here. It may not seem like the best option, but I have, I have been known to mess up my kicks. Definitely from that far out. If we can win this line out here, we'll have them under a lot of pressure. Good opportunity here for that is a good one. Brody Retallick, we're going for the drive once again. The All Blacks driving hard. Joe Moody playing scrum half. Goes to Moanga, who goes one more to Barrett, who has been held up. Oh, we've done well to keep that ball there. We're going to our forwards. Joe Moody is hit hard. Aaron Smith out to Barrett, who goes one more to Leonard Brown, and he has scored his second of the match. Luckily, we were able to score there. We turned down the three to try and get more, and it has worked out. Aaron Smith fires one to Joe Moody, who was hit very hard by Andre Pollard. Smith then goes wider to Barrett. He goes out to Leonard Brown. He had George Bridge on his outside, but didn't need him. Leonard Brown scores the second of the match for himself and the All Blacks. We did have numbers out that side. Of course, the rolling mall before. Force them all inwards. Couple hit-ups later and that move happened. Richie Moanga to kick this one. Wins straight behind him, so that shouldn't be an issue. It has gone over from Richie Moanga. The All Blacks, 14-7 up over the Springboks after 60 minutes. Another try here could secure the match but I know the Springbok side they will fight back Pollard, gets us going. Pollard goes short Frizzell takes that well yeah he took a great catch he was under all sorts of pressure too but he handled it well Ooh. I'm gonna kick this he kicks Aaron Smith the opposition kicks that one well is he going to find touch it would be nice if it did Le Willie LaRue has Tell you what, that's unfortunate. They're saying LaRue was holding that ball when the ball went out. So we have got another another line out. Five metres out from the line. Oh, that might be too far on our side though. No, it is alright. Smith runs through. Goes to Severi. who goes to Savia with the offload to Goodhue who has put the ball down. 
Sadly, three metres out from the line. Good Hugh put it down. We are going back for the scrum. Looked like a certain try for the All Blacks there. He just couldn't control the ball. Did well, won the line out. Smith goes to Sevi Reese, who goes to Savia. Good Hugh, unfortunately, puts the ball down. And they'll go Crouch. to a scrum. Find. Set. Oh, oh this is an unfortunate place to have a post. Oh, and we have been driven back there. Great tackle from Aaron Smith. Knocks the ball free from Andre Pollard. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. Good drive there from South Africa. Faf de Klerk goes to Pollard. Who then drops the ball when Aaron Smith tackles him. And now the scrum to pack. The scrum's Fine. pretty good today. Really even contest between the Set. two packs. And a good hit. Aaron Smith. Tides have turned here. Yeah. Oh, good push. That's the ball out there. Goes out to George Bridge, who has now dropped the ball as well. No one is able to hold it at the moment. And once again, we're going for a scrum five metres out. This time, Springbok feed. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Smith goes to that side. <laughs> to George Bridge, who I was going to back in a one-on-one -on -one against their number 14. But unfortunately put down. The scrum has been pretty Fine. solid for both teams here. Set. Oh, that was a good push, but both teams had the perfect, perfect shove. Whose turn is it to drop it now? Tackle from Moanga there. Leonard Brown makes one. Back to his feet very fast, but not fast enough. We're up to 75 minutes here. Has it as they try to keep South Africa will want to get some points on the board very soon. In fact, we are at the stage how a runaway try is almost required to have enough time to get the win. They can still draw it though. And they are trying hard retallic with a big hit on marks there for Mulan. Oh, Cody Taylor's been shunted off. Delivers it to a Aaron Smith makes the tackle. Tries to rip it away. We are at 80 minutes now. Which means this game cannot be lost by the All Blacks. But it can be drawn. South Africa can find a way through. Oh, Frizzell with a big hit there. Good Hugh ties up. Jesse Creel. The click checks both sides. Good low tackle from Sam Kane. South Africa not willing to give this ball up. The Yaga goes. Oh, I thought Lalala was going to get back to his feet there. Big hit on Faf de Klerk from Brody Retallick. Oh, I thought that was ours. They aren't going anywhere at the moment, South Africa. Mwanga steals it. But it looks like South Africa, yes. Diaga rips it straight back. Sam Kane has made that tackle, ripped it back. Goes to Smith, who goes out to Ritalik. Goes to Goodhue, Jack Goodhue. That was not a smart move there. I decided to go for the offload. Whitelock takes it back though. Frizzell is held. Diaga rips it back. I should have kicked this ball out. Bowden Barrett with the tackle on marks. We need to get this ball back. Aaron Smith makes that tackle. Number three around the side. Goes to number one. He still a Linde there if he had offloaded. That could have been very interesting for them. All oh, that needed to be made by Aaron Smith. Rips it away. Goes to Goodhue. To Lalala. Whitelock. Sam Whitelock up the middle. Scores for the All Blacks in the 95th minute. Sam Whitelock, the big man. Luckily, there were about five turnovers after 80 minutes. 
possibly should have been looking to kick the ball out, but instead I wanted to get one more try. Good to you to Delala, who goes to Whitelock, who scores. South Africa trying all they could to get out of their own 22, get a runaway try. Luckily, the All Blacks defence held up. And Sam Whitelock puts the cherry on top with that try. The conversion is coming up. The team team to kick this one. And he has got it straight down the middle, Richie Moanga. And with those points, it is full time. The All Blacks victorious over South Africa. 21 points to 7. To the quarterfinals of the World Championship with this victory. Your Blacks have claimed the victory. Now you'd have to say that is the toughest match in our pool. Just too strong in the end. So you'd they like to think from here we are looking to go to the quarterfinals. South Africa, I feel they will still go through with us unless there is a huge upset. Anyway, Whitelock scores one, Leonard Brown scores the other two, Malanga converts all three. Khaleesi was able to drive over to get South Africa's first try, but it was their only try and Pollard converted. Possession was still in South Africa's favour, we had to make 109 tackles to their 42, and we had nine hand layers. we're going to have to sharpen that up a bit, definitely if we're going through to the quarterfinals. Okay, our next game is against Canada. We are sitting third in the pool at the moment, but I assume that is because other teams have played twice. Yes, South Africa won. And Italy have won two so far. So at this stage, they may go through instead of South Africa, but it is still early days, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.